hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much to all my lovely and wonderful subscribers and if you are new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe if you want to see how i made this juicy tasty mouth watering and salad soup please stay tuned Our ingredients for today we are using otazi leaf, onions, grounded ehu. For my tikina, I'm using oat flour, two habanero pepper and half of sweet bell pepper, maggi and okidiobe, stock fish head, salt, crayfish. So this is our tilapia fish. I am going to add ingredients in the fish. I'm also going to wash our stock fish and put it in there and let it start cooking. So let's add ingredients in this fish. So I'm going to add our stock fish. I'm going to add onions. I'm going to add maggi, two maggi. I'm going to add salt. I'm going to cover and we'll start cooking our fish. So I'm going to cook the fish for five minutes and I'll take out my tilapia fish, but I'll then cook the dry fish for another 10 because I want the dry fish to soften up a bit, okay? So after boiling for five minutes, we're going to take out our fish. add more water in the pot I'm going to cover and we will boil our dry fish for 10 minutes After 10 minutes, I am going to take out the chunky onions. So after taking out my onions, I am going to add my oat thickener and I am going to add my blended mixture. So I have mixed the oat with water. So I'm going to add it in there. Now you can use any thickener of your choice. Uh, you can use yam, you can use potato, you can use any thickener you like to use. I'm going to add my blended mixture. So this is my habanero pepper, sweet bell pepper and white and red onions. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to cover and allow that to simmer for 10 minutes. 
So guys, after allowing that to simmer for 10 minutes, I am going to add ingredients. I'm going to add my grounded ehu seeds. I'm going to taste for maggi and see if I need to ma add maggi. I need to add maggi. So I'm adding two maggi. I'm adding crawfish. I'm going to add my pounded ogili. I'm going to add back my fish. I tasted for salt. I am going to add a little bit of salt in it. Now I'm going to cover and let that simmer for 10 minutes. So guys, after 10 minutes, I am going to add my otas leaf. For the otas leaf, you only want to add a handful of it because this leaf <laughs> is very bitter. So you don't want, you don't really want your soup to be too bitter. You just want to have a little bit of bitterness to it, okay? Now I am going to cover and allow that to simmer for a few seconds and this soup is ready. After a few seconds of adding our vegetable inside the soup, it is time to take our soup out of the stove. The salad soup does not take time at all to cook. It is an easy soup. So I'm going to take it out of the stove. Our insala is out of the stove and it is tasting and looking so delish and so yummy. Guys, this soup is so easy to cook and so simple. It's one of those soup that you can cook under 20 to 25 minutes. It's easy, it's quick, it's simple and it is ready to go. Yes, it is ready guys it is ready i can't possibly wait to dive in like i feel like i always remember on salad soup when the weather is getting cold because the spiciness and the juiciness like overall it warms you up and you know you know chilled your skin from the cold <laughs> yeah anyway guys this is where today's recipe is going to end don't forget to like give a thumbs up like share and subscribe to my channel for more food recipe guys you know what is coming up next i can't possibly wait to dive in and demolish this soup it tastes so yummy and it looks so delicious mm -hmm.